Hello YouTube, this is Coop to the Hoop76 here. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a completely bricked iPod Touch 2nd generation with 2.2.1 software. Um, it's going to be this software download you're going to download called One Click Boot as you can see right there on my screen. Bam. Um, but basically your iPod is not going to be, it's not going to be non-responsive. See, as I'm hitting the home button, nothing's happening or when you hold down the power button nothing happened it's just gonna stay black well what we're gonna do is I'll give you a, also I'll give you a link to this one click boot program what we're gonna do is we're gonna take your mouse oh yeah when also when you download it I'm sorry when you download it I want you to extract it to your desktop for easy access okay when you finish downloading it, you're gonna have it here just gonna double click on it okay program it's just gonna say waiting for an iPod in DFU mode. This is one click. Oh, this is all it is. Now, when you have a bricked iPod Touch second generation with the 2.21 software, actually, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you this, but this program is made for. It's actually for all you YouTubers out there, but it's sponsored by. It was actually requested by J JG Car 020. He requested this video. So um, I'm going to do this especially for him, but anyone else has the same problem could take a look at this video. Alright, one click boot's going to say waiting for iPod in DFU mode. Any iPod that's bricked, DFU mode is different to put it in. Um, instead of holding it down for, what do you call, holding the power and home button down for 10 seconds, it changes to 6 seconds. And yes, that 6 seconds is very critical. So what I'm going to do here is if you don't know how to put it into DFU mode, Oh yeah, make sure your iPod is connected to your computer while you have this one click boot program up, like mine is. Um, all we're going to have to do is take, uh, I'm sorry guys, you're going to have to take the, hold the home button and the power down for six seconds. I'll count with you. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then when your computer beeps, you're just going to let go of the power button, still holding the home button for 10 more seconds until your computer beeps again. Okay? Oops, guys, I'm sorry. We're going to hold it down for 6 seconds again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then hold down the power button for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and then I'm um, actually don't even hold it down for ten seconds. Just wait until your computer beeps, and then one click, one click boot will do its thing. Your iPod will turn into a white screen, which is completely normal. And you just wait, bam. My iPod is now booting up. Okay, so when it says USB, d I mean iPod has malfunctioned or whatever, you know, hold down the power and home thing for six seconds. Your computer won't. Your computer will not tell you. Your computer will not tell you anything. But just hold it down for your estimate of six seconds, and then when six seconds is over, you're gonna hold down. You're gonna hold down um, the home button until the computer makes that chime noise. When you've done that, you've successfully unbricked your iPod Touch 2G 2.2 2.2.1. 2 2 um, if there were any questions on this video, or if it was anything was not um, clarified, just message me and I'll fix those things or explain to you what you have to do. But this has been another broadcast from Coop, Coop the Eye Helper. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if there's any videos, other videos you would like me to help you on, or if there's anything you want me to help you on, message me or comment on one of my videos, and I'll get up. To, I'll get that up on YouTube for you. But JG Car 020, thanks for the request, and I hope this video helps you. Peace.